Why does communication often break down when we come to making requests of the people around us? There's more to making compassionate requests than meets the eye. How do we make our requests clearer and more doable while avoiding the pitfall of demands? Hello, I'm Shanti Garber and welcome to NBC Life Hack. When we speak, it's usually because we want something back from the other person. The question is, what? Do we want to check that we have a connection with them? Or do we want them to do something for us? In other words, we usually have some kind of request for them. A request is a particular kind of strategy for meeting a need. By the way, if our need is already being met, usually the request is something like, more of the same please. So here's my checklist for compassionate requests. Firstly, is it one step towards a need that you've just expressed? And is it asking for what you do want? So if you ask somebody to go to the shops for you, you don't give them a list saying, don't get milk, don't get bread, don't get apples. Instead, you give them a list saying, get honey get margarine, get washing powder. So ask for what you do want. It'll save you a lot of time and energy. And finally, is it doable in the sense of an action that somebody can actually take? So is it specific about who you want to do it, what you want them to do, when and for how long? Types of NVC request. Perhaps the most common pitfall in making requests is making an action request, asking the other person to do something for you when you don't really have sufficient connection with them. So let's see how this plays out in a role play. Hi, Joel. Oh, hi, hi. Oh, I know you're really busy. Yeah. But I really would like to spend some time with you this evening. Yeah. We haven't seen each other all week. What do you mean? We live in the same house, don't we? Connection requests. For this kind of situation, let me introduce connection requests. Connection requests are for checking if you really have a connection with the other person or that they've really heard what you wanted to say. Examples could be, could you tell me what you heard me say? Or, would you tell me how you're feeling when you hear that? Or, perhaps more colloquially, how does that sound? Let's see how this might play out. I thought, oh, hi. <laughs> I know you're busy with work at the moment. And at the yeah. same time, I'm really missing quality time together. Yeah. How does it sound to you? Yeah. Look, I've, you know, I'd love to relax with you. I'd love to, I, I just don't know when. Yeah. Action requests. So now that Gazina is confident in the connection, we can introduce action requests. Action requests are for when you want the other person to do something differently. Examples are, would you be willing to do... I'm wondering if you'd be willing to do... How would it be if you were to... Hi, Joel. Oh, hi. As I, as I say, I'm really longing for some quality time together. Yeah. Would you be willing to spend 20 minutes together with me this evening, just sitting on a sofa. Yeah, that would be really relaxing, yeah. Hmm. Demands versus requests. Another common pitfall is making demands rather than requests. Now, demands are an expensive currency in the sense that they tend to reduce ongoing trust and cooperation. So let's see what happens. Joe, I can't live like this. Oh. You spend too much time with your work. We have to talk this evening. I'm too busy. 
turning demands into requests. So how could Gesine turn her demand into a request? Well, the key difference with a request is that she's willing to hear a no. And she's still interested in the good reason behind the no. So let's see how Gesine deals with a no. And let's see if there's a difference here. Hi, Joe. Oh, hey, Gesine. It's been a long week. Mm. I'm really longing to reconnect with you. Could we spend 20 minutes this evening together sitting on a sofa? Mm. No is an acceptable answer. No, uh, I've just got to finish this deadline I have. Are you overstretched at the moment? Yeah, there's someone missing from the team. Look, it would be really nice. How about straight after dinner? Oh yes, great. If you want to practice making requests with your loved ones, remember to let them know that you're learning something new that might help with the connection and ask them to bear with you, if it sounds a bit clunky at first. That's it for now. If you'd like to know more, you can subscribe to our YouTube or Instagram channels. You can like our Facebook page. You can join our mailing list. And of course, you can join us on one of our events. <laughs>